So lip augmentation is one of the most popular procedures. Everybody wants fuller lips and actually as a person ages, you lose fullness in the lips anyway. So it becomes important to restore that fullness. Now how is that done? The most common way to uh, augment the lips is by using fillers, primarily hyaluronic acid type of fillers such as Perlane, Juvederm, Restylane, and Bellotero. The problem with fillers in the lips is that wherever there's a lot of movement, such as with the lips, fillers don't last very long. So any of those fillers are not gonna last for more than three or four months, rarely as long as six months. And doing lip fillers requires a certain amount of skill to do it in such a way that the lips look natural but don't look overinflated. I think everyone has seen lips, whether it's on television or in uh, magazines where the lips walk into a room two seconds before the rest of the body and that's because the lips have been just overdone. And so I think it's important for the surgeon to have that aesthetic sense that more is not always better. There is an alternative to fillers for lips, a very good alternative that's been available for about five years now. And that's called Permalip Augmentation. Permalip is the use of an implant. This is a very, very soft, silastic implant, unlike previous implants that were available. And this implant is not one that goes in the lip line, but it really goes inside the lip. So it basically brings out the patient's natural lip contour and makes it fuller. The nice thing about Permalip is that it's permanent. You cannot see it. You can hardly feel it. It looks very natural. And if for whatever reason you didn't like it, it takes about five minutes to remove it. Otherwise, it stays exactly where it's put in. And so, my favorite procedure for lip augmentation is permalip augmentation.